Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and this is the second video of the three-part video series on creating a KPI dashboard in Excel. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a dynamic scatter chart where I have these two drop downs, one for the x-axis and one for the y-axis and as soon as you change these selections, this drop, this scatter chart automatically gets updated and we also have this chart title which also gets updated. So here if I change this from KPI 4 to KPI 2 you would see that this chart is getting updated as soon as I do that. If you have not watched the previous video I would encourage you to go back and watch it. If you are watching this video on YouTube you would find the link of the video right in the description. In this video I would show you two things. First is to spot a data point in this scatter chart. Now say for example I want to check uh, how is company 10 doing or where in this scatter chart does company 10 data point lie. I cannot do this as of now but I'll show you how to do it. And the second thing is to get a dynamic interpretation of the company in this scatter chart. So for example if I select company 10 and if it lies in say this quadrant I want to see what does this mean and I would show you a technique where you can get that dynamic interpretation or the insight of this chart in plain simple English here in this text box. So let me first show you how to spot the data point and to do that I would first have to create a drop down list here in this cell. To do that I would go to data. Within data I have data tools and here I have this data validation option. Go to data validation. It opens this data validation dialog box. Go to list option here within validation criteria and in source I would go back to the original data and I would select this entire column because these are all the company names here and now when I hit OK you would see that I have all the name of the companies here let me pre-select company 10 here now to get the data point highlighted here in this scatter chart I would have to somehow fetch the data for this company and plot it on this chart and then somehow highlight it. So to do that I would go back to the calculations tab and here I have the spot the company uh, formatting that I've already done and I would use this area to fetch the data for that company and then plot this in the chart. So the first thing I need to do in this cell I would select the company that I've selected which is in the dashboard so now it gives me company 10 and all I need to do is fetch the data for x-axis and y-axis for this company so I would simply use the VLOOKUP formula this becomes the lookup value in this array which has the x-axis and y-axis values I would select this entire array press F4 to lock it and x-axis is in the second column so I would give 2 as the column number and since I want an exact match I would use 0. You can also use false here. Now when I hit enter I get the value for company 10 which you can see is correct. Similarly I can get the value for company uh, for the y-axis value for company 10. Again the same thing I would select this array press F4 to lock it column number would be 3 and it would be an exact match. So now I have the numbers here. What I would do is I would use these numbers and plot a different series on this chart. So to do that I would select this scatter chart, I would go to design and here I have the select data option and I would click on it, it opens the select data source dialog box. As of now it has this data plotted which you can see on the scatter chart but I would add another series here and let me call it spot the company. And the x-axis value here would be this cell and y-axis value here would be this cell. And now you can see that I have this orange color data point among all these blue color data points. And this orange color data point is for the company that I have selected. So if I select say company 14, it would quickly change and go to that place where I have company 14. Now what you're seeing here is two data points that overlap completely. And whenever I change the company name, this data point, that data point for that company gets highlighted in a different color. Now to make it more profound, I would simply format this data point. So I would select it, right click and go to format data series. And here 
I would change the formatting of the marker so I would first say within marker option I need to increase the size of this data point so I would use this built-in option I've already selected a circle and let me make it say 15 and as soon as I do that you can see that now this data point has become big and I would also go back here to marker and simply say I don't need any fill but I do need a border a solid red color border I can change the width to maybe 1.25 and the dash type to something like this now you can see that now it gets highlighted perfectly and I can also add a data label to it so I would right click go to add data labels and I can add this but I do not want 0.45 here I want the name of the company so there are two ways to do it if you're using Excel 2013 what you can do is go to label options here and select value from cells and simply select the cell here which is COM14 which is E24 and hit OK as of now it says COM14 comma 0.45 so I would remove this Y value and I would have this name here I can simply change the formatting to a bold color here and I would have it formatted highlighted and now when I change the name of the company here it would automatically change the position and highlight that particular data point another way of doing it is if you're not using Excel 2013 is to simply go here click the data label go to the formula bar go to the formula bar press equal to sign and select this cell and it would also do the same thing so now what we have created is we have created a, a mechanism where whenever you select the name of the company that data points get highlighted on the chart now let me show you how to create the dynamic interpretation of this chart here in a box but before I do that let's first revisit what these quadrants mean in this scatter chart this quadrant in the bottom left would mean that the companies in this quadrant are not doing well in KPI 2 and not doing well in KPI 1 so these are the companies that are lagging in both the KPIs as compared to their peers if I look at the bottom right quadrant these are the companies that are doing good in KPI 2 but they are lagging their peers in KPI 1 the top right quadrant is the one where the companies are outperforming their peers in both the KPIs and at the top left quadrant is the one where a company is doing good in KPI 1 but lags its peers in KPI 2 now any company would fall in any of these four quadrants so if there is a company it has to fall in any one of these quadrants so at max I could have only four conditions for each company and using this logic I have created text for these four quadrants so I would show you how to create those text and then based on the company's position we simply pick up the right quadrant and show that text so let me talk about say bottom left quadrant which is this one this is the quadrant where a company would lag in both the KPIs so I would simply use the concatenation technique here and what I would do here is I would simply say this company lags in both the KPIs and now when I hit enter you see that it says company 20 lags in both the KPIs here is the bottom right quadrant which is this one here it outperforms in KPI 2 but lags in KPI 1 so I would simply use this language this company lags its peers in and then I would select the KPI since this is bottom right it would be y-axis where it lags its peers so I would have to identify what is the y-axis and here y-axis would be KPI 1 so I would simply use this as the error in my index and select this value here which would give uh, the KPI name and then I would say however it outperforms 
in again I would use the same technique here with index and I would use the x-axis cell link and now when I hit enter you can see the text it says company 20 lags its peers in KPI 1 KPI 1 is this one however it outperforms in KPI 2 which is this one so which means that any company that lies in bottom right quadrant would lag in this KPI and outperform in this KPI sorry outperform in this KPI and lag in this KPI now let's see what if I change this my text here would dynamically get updated based on the KPIs that I've selected and that is what the index formula is doing so now I would not create all the four text and waste your time let me quickly show you how I'm creating the dynamic interpretation here now what I'm trying to do here is I'm checking for the values here and I'm identifying the quadrant if you look at this value here if these are both less than say 50 percent then it would be quadrant one which is bottom left if these are both more than 50 percent you would know this is top right quadrant so I would simply create an if formula and I would say if this value is more than 0 0.5 then I would again check an if condition oops I would again check an if condition and I would check if this value is also more than 0.5 then I would select the top right quadrant because this is the quadrant which is where both the KPIs uh, the company outperforms in both the KPIs but if this is false which means that it is more than 0.5 which is x axis is more than 0.5 but y axis is less then it would be bottom right quadrant so this becomes my first condition but if this is not true if the company lag is less than 0.5 or 50 percent in x-axis then I would simply create another if condition and I would check if this is more than 0.5 then this would be the top left quadrant else it would be the bottom left quadrant and now let me go back and select a company which lies in say uh, bottom left here so let me say select company 1 and if I go back to calculation you would see that now the dynamic interpretation has automatically picked up this quadrant because my company lies in this quadrant and all I need to do here now is I have the dynamic text ready I would simply create a text box here go to formula bar press equal to and simply select this and now you can format this text here you can say increase the font size maybe to 14 italicize it change the color so that it looks better maybe also change the color of this box here to a light color and these are all formatting changes that you can do but the idea here being that now what you have done is whenever you select a company in the back end it identifies in which quadrant it lies and it would pick up the text for that given quadrant so here if I select any other company and in this case I do not have the text for that company but if I select say company 7 it would identify that it lies in the bottom right quadrant it would go back pick up the text for bottom right quadrant and display that text here now this seems like a generic text which says company 7 lags its peers in KPI 1 however it outperforms in KPI 3 but imagine if you have real KPIs here say uh, net income margin and cost you can say that the company uh, is have high cost and that is the reason that uh, their net profit margin are low or you can say that despite their cost being high the company has been able to perform well and show high profit margins so this is the kind of interpretation that you can show here and what you have done is in an instant you have created this dynamic interpretation for 100 companies so this is how you can use this scatter chart along with the dynamic interpretation to make a KPI dashboard that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.